Many auto manufacturers around the world have extensive proving grounds to test every aspect of their under development models. It has not been the case in India until now. The Mahindra SUV Proving Track or MSPT is a brand new and very impressive facility spread over 454 acres outside Chennai. Despite its name, there is way more than just a track here. The MSPT in fact has 20 purpose-built tracks to test various parameters of its SUVs. This is especially helpful to get certain equipment, calibrations, design and engineering elements just right when a car project is in its different stages of R&D. There's a 4km long oval high speed track but I'll come back to that. There's also a straight speed road with an arrow straight and absolutely flat 2km long stretch, circular dynamic platform and one of the things that really grabbed my attention a highway track. This is a 5 km long loop that gives you various aspects of highway driving from differing road surfaces to potholes and patchwork and even rumble strips and bumps. It also allows the test driver to switch lanes and carry out braking tests. But there is a special dedicated zone for braking maneuvers. Everything from gravel to the wet. And in fact, different types of low grip surfaces from glossy tiles to emulate ice to wet tarmac. A test of ABS or anti-lock brakes, traction control, braking distance and even ESC or stability control is vital to get the car to be safe on the road when in production. So the braking pad has six different surfaces with dry and wet tracks. There's also a simulated city track for simulating public road durability and stop and go traffic, tighter lanes, crossroads, etc. But the part that always gets the most attention is high-speed driving. I got to speeds of close to 200 km per hour on the 0% slope high-speed test track. Now it's not just about the high speeds, it's also about the neutral speed testing, which is why at both ends of this high-speed track, you have this uh, parabolic banking, this curve, which gives you a 43.7 degree angle right at its peak on top, which is where I am right now. Of course, I know it's all about the testing. At this point, I'm just having a lot of fun. The parabolic curve allows the vehicle to maintain a constant motion without the drags or pressures typical turning or cornering would inflict on the vehicle. Of course, no proving ground is complete without this. All imaginable bad road surfaces and not just potholes and undulations, but Belgian pavement, cobblestones, rumblers and various kinds of washboard and speed breakers too, all to test the suspension and durability. There's also elevation to test approach and departure angles and slip control on slopes, which means hill descent and hill hold functionality too. Mahindra has also included some specific test chambers like a full vehicle corrosion test facility with humidity chamber, a dust and sand test, prototype workshops, rain at different angles and intensity, and of course there is water wading too.
there's a 4x4 adventure track with 25 obstacles for testing four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive systems. After all, this is an SUV proving ground, isn't it? The first car to benefit from these facilities has been the XUV700, of course. But others like the upcoming next generation Scorpio and beyond will only get better with this kind of extensive testing and proving under their belt. <laughs>